Well, hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me today. Well, unless you've been living under a rock recently, you probably know that these aren't happy times for investors. A casual glance at the financial headlines would lead to the conclusion that the best place to put your money may be under your mattress, preferably in euros. A recent front page story in the Wall Street Journal led with a story about a couple who planned to retire this year, but now they can't because of the failing economy. Instead of quitting their jobs and retiring to sunny Arizona, they will continue to work because they can't sell their home and have suffered a 20% decline in the value of their, re of their retirement plan. The story went on to talk about how bad things are currently for investors. Now, reporting like this really gets my goat. While I'm sure the reporter's facts are absolutely right, the story would lead casual readers to conclude that the average investor has lost 20% so far this year. What the reporter didn't mention was that this particular couple must have taken a very concentrated position in a handful of stocks or a few specific sectors. Let me explain. At the time this story was written, the S&P was down no more than 14%. The S&P 500 is an index which represents an, in an investment in the 500 largest U.S. companies. Now because this couple's retirement funds did much worse than the S&P 500, they could not have been diversified even in U.S. stocks. That's the story the reporter admitted. Had this couple understood the safety and power of investing in a diversified portfolio of asset classes, they probably would be retired today. A diversified portfolio will not have more than about 40% in the U.S. stock market at a very max. It will also have international stocks, high quality bonds, junk bonds, <coughs> treasury inflation protected security bonds, commodity funds, REITs, and something I call market neutral funds. These are asset classes and investors who are diversified among five or more asset classes have seen very minimal losses this year. I would guess the average diversified portfolio had very small or almost no losses during the first quarter of this year. Now that's a far cry from the poor couple who's lost 20% of their retirement portfolio. Still amazes me that asset class diversification is the exception rather than the rule. Of the hundreds of portfolios I've seen over the 25 years I've been doing this, maybe 1% has had any type of serious asset class diversification. Now that's sad in a day and age where extensive investment knowledge is available to anyone with internet access. If history is any predictor of the future, I'll bet it is, we are probably nearing a market bottom and the worst is behind us. I base that on several aspects. First, the average recession since 1945 has lasted 11 to 16 months and most bear markets bottom around the 6th to ninth month of a recession, meaning that we'll probably see a market bottom around May to July. Second, I'm hearing and reading about more and more investors starting to panic and switching from stocks to bonds or cash. Now my experience is that investors left to their own means typically sell out or buy in precisely at the wrong time. I call this the big mistake. This market decline, it's not going to be any difference. You can mark my words. Just at the time things look the darkest for the economy, hordes of investors are going to decide to fold their tents and sell out. Soon after that, the market's going to bottom and start its bumpy march upward, leaving behind those who panicked and sold out. So what's the cure to getting through times like this? Well, diversify your portfolio in five or more asset classes. Set your allocations in each. Sit back 